this is going to be our first tutorial on the human muscles. We're going to start at the arm, we're going to start at the shoulder, and work our way down. The first muscle we're going to look at is this large triangular muscle of the shoulder. It is the deltoid. We're going to remove the deltoid and look at some of the muscles around the scapula. These are all fixators. The spine is going to be our landmark. We have our supraspinatus. This muscle right here is going to be our infraspinatus. Again, the spine is a landmark, super for above, infra for below the spine. We have two teres. We have a teres major and a teres minor. And the last muscle we need to identify is lies within that subscapular fossa. It is the subscapularis. We're going to move into the arm. We have a couple muscles here. Uh, and this is where we kind of start changing our terminology and looking at muscles as being prime movers and antagonists and synergists. So when we think about flexion of the forearm, we're looking at the biceps brachii and the brachialis. These are two prime movers for flexion of the forearm. You can see that brachialis lies right underneath that biceps brachii. For flexion, we have one other muscle. It is the brachioradialis, and this lies right here. Let's go to the back of the arm. We have our triceps, three heads to the triceps. This is going to be our antagonist for flexion of the forearm, and it's going to be our prime mover for extension of the forearm. And when we extend the forearm, the biceps, brachii, and the uh, brachialis become the antagonist. So the next set of muscles we're going to look at are going to be in the forearm, and these muscles are primarily going to be used for pronation, supination, flexion, and extension of the hand at the wrist. We're going to look at this flexor group, the first of the flexor group, and again, if we follow these muscles to where they lead and over what bones, it'll help us identify uh, the name of this muscle, and again, remember our actions, and it shall assist us. This muscle right here lies over the ulna, so it is the flexor carpi ulnaris. If we go to the other side and we follow the muscle that lies over the radius, we're going to have our flexor carpi radialis. We're going to go to the muscle that lies in the middle of these, this flexor wad, and this right here is the palmaris longus. The muscle that lies underneath it, you can see it on both sides of the flexor palmaris longus, is going to be the flexor digitorum superficialis. Now, we can look on the side right here. This muscle is super important. We look at number 16, if you can see the numbers in my video, and we see we're going to take this group off right here, this extensor group, and we're going to see a nice V formed right here. These muscles are going to be antagonistic muscles. They're going to do opposite actions. We look at the first portion of this V right here. This is the pronator teres. We go to the second portion of the V and this is our supinator. This is going to give us pronation and supination. We're now going to remove this flexor wad and we're going to look at a few more flexors. Um, this muscle right here is called the flexor pollicis longus. Again, pollicis means thumb, and we can see this muscle is going to move towards the thumb. The last little muscle hiding right under here is going to be our pronator quadratus. We're now going to turn this hand over, look at the posterior aspect so we could work through our extensor groups, our extensor wads. The first muscle we see, again, is our brachioradialis. As we move more towards the outside of the arm, we're gonna have two muscles that are gonna connect towards the thumb. So again, this is extension at the wrist. So we're going to have our extensor carpi, again, thumb side is gonna be radialis. This is the extensor carpi radialis longus. This is gonna be the extensor carpi radialis brevis. We then go to this muscle, and again, remember, follow our ligaments. Notice it goes to our digits, to our fingers, okay? This is going to be our extensor digitorum. So again, to the fingers, to the digits, extension is the action, extensor digitorum. We then move to the lateral most aspect, and we're going to have this muscle. Again, let's follow. We see that it goes to the pinky. We're going to have our extensor carpi ulnaris.
Okay, now that completes the arm. Our next tutorial is gonna look at the leg and then we will look at the mini man to look at all the superficial muscles of the head, neck, face, trunk, etc.